and then stop and throw the punch, move around again. Then to one, make sure you're pivoting your right foot. See the punch you see my entire body. Pivot your right foot. Turn your right hip on that two. Boom. Oh. So it's a one, two, move around, flow, rhythm into a two, one. Bounce in your step. Whatever hand's not punching, Rebecca, keep those hands up, hands up. In front of your face, move around. Don't drop your waist. You need to get some footwork in between. I should see you shift to the left side of your camera, to your right side. You slip off camera for a half second just because of its footwork. Do what you got to do. Going in the air for now, just moving around. And in time, let's go with our ducks. Now, okay, duck right, this is where you're using your legs. Think of it like a squat with an angle. So it's like a V-shaped squat. So all we're going to do is duck left, duck right, and then move around. Move around. Then left, right, move around. See, if you're moving and you have some momentum and some flow, it's a lot easier to get into these slips and ducks. But if you're standing stiff and still, it's going to be impossible to get duck quick enough. That's why you want to be moving. Look, moving around. And then you can just flow right into those ducks. You can flow right into the slips if you're already moving. It's easier to go from 30 miles an hour to 60 <laughs> than it is from 0 miles an hour to 60. So keep that momentum. Keep that flow going. And you can flow right into those ducks. You see those legs bending. Use those legs. v shape. There it is. Hands up the entire time. Move around in between. Even if you're modifying on those ducks for your knees, whatever, you still can move around. Get some energy, some flow in between. And time. Let's go to our hooks. So you're going to alternate your three, four, with your four, three. Simple stuff. So three is your left hook, four is your right hook. Use your everyone here. Most of your punches. If not, let's review them all. Left hook, right hook. Three, four. Alternate with four, three. So you're just going left, right, reset, right, left. If you see the long frame of mine, you can see that. And the feet turn and pivoting with every one of those punches. So three, four, reset, four, three. Boom. Right in between, though. Remember, we want that movement in between. You should be around all over your room, bashing into walls and the couches, knocking things over. Light on your feet. Three, four, alternate, four, three. And then move, move, bounce, flow, rhythm. And time. Let's get those quads stretched out real quick. We need a lot of footwork, a lot of movement in between. So let's stretch those quads, just one to three seconds each. Just keep switching side to side, and then knee hug. So quad, quad, knee hug, knee hug. For however long you need to. If you need to hold it for a couple extra seconds, go for it. Also think about when you're doing these stretches, when it's quad stretch. A leg you're standing on should be slightly bent. So at the same time, you're warming that leg up with balance. So don't just, if you can do it without holding on something, do it without holding on something. You have to hold on, hold on. So quad, quad, knee hug, knee hug, but at the same time, don't forget, you're working on that balance on one leg. So just as much as we're stretching, we're still warming those muscles up. Keep that in mind. Tug that knee up to the chest. Get those hips, those legs, ready to move for all this work we're about to do. Get them up there. Get them up there. All right, we're going to go forward shoulder circles for two, backward shoulder circles for two, then in and out for two. So forward two. Keep your feet moving also. You can do the stepping in place, stepping back and forth, side to side. Backwards for two, and in and out for two. Just getting that chest, flinging it open, getting those shoulders greased up for all the punches we're gonna do. And then in and out, just rotating. A couple more times through. Forward for two, backwards for two, and in and out. Right arm on top, left arm on top. One more time through. Forward two, two or three, whatever. It's not, it doesn't even matter. As long as you're doing a few, you wanna get a couple extra in for any one of those, go for it. All right. We're going to start kicking up the pace here. So what we're going to do next is two slips. So you're going to go slip to the left, slip to the right. Remember, slip and move your head side to side. Get that little crunch in your waist. You're going to go slip to the, slip to the left, slip, one, two. So, sorry, slip right, slip left, one, two. So we're going to slip right first on this. So we're going to go slip, slip, one, two. Slip, slip, one, two. So lean to your right, lean to your left, go straight left. Throw straight right. Make sure you're getting full punch on those, and then move around in between. Don't just stand flat in place and doing this nonstop. 
literally every combo, you all flashed out for a second. Every combo, move around. So it's slip, slip, one, two, move around, flow. I need rhythm, I need flow. If you look at me, you can see me all over, forward, back, and then stop for the slip, slip, one, two. Flow, I need footwork in between. That's what a lot of the work is. Slip right, slip left, go left, go right. Just because you're punching the air doesn't mean you're not going all out. You have a bag, you should be starting to hit the bag now. I see a couple bags in there. Deborah and Marlene, breaking stuff, I like it. You have a volunteer around, you can just have them stand there and get your punches done. Slip, slip, one, two. Good, Eight, right. quick slips, guys, quick slips. Right. Breathe for each movement. Move. Good, little, little, mess, little less bend, Debbie. Little less bend. Yeah, quick, quick. There you go. Make sure you maintain that stance. Move that head side to side. Get that waist, that ab oblique work in there. Nice footwork in between. Move around. So if you have a bag, you should be circling around that bag or moving away from the bag and then back in. But constant footwork in between. So you already have that flow and rhythm. So just time to slip. You're right into the movement already. You're not just standing stiff and still. There we go. Move around different angles. Spin, turn, face one way, face the other way. Move around. Use whatever space you have. Knock some shit over. There you go. Keep those hands up, Syria in between. Don't let those hands drop. Whatever hands not punching needs to stay up in your chin. We're going slip, slip, one, two. Yes, yes. And time. All right, what are you gonna do now? We're gonna, remember that same slip, slip, one, two combo. We're sticking with that combo. We're just getting rolling, getting into it. You're gonna hit two jacks, then slip, slip, one, two. Two jacks, slip, slip, one, two. Let's do it, let's see it. Two jacks, slip, slip, one, two. So every time, land into your stance, slip, slip, one, two. Jack, jack, slip, slip, one, two. So keep those hands in the guard, up at your chin, when you're doing those jacks. <clears throat> Bounce in your step, light on your feet. There we go. Don't, don't just rush those punches, that one, two. You're, you're getting good slips down, but don't waste those punches. There you go, Pryor, nice punches. Turn into that two, turn into that right hand. So after you slip, make them miss, make them pay. Make sure that one, two is full speed. You're turning, getting some power in that right hand. Edu, after you do the jacks, make sure you get into your staggered stance. So if you have to do the jacks and then punch sideways, because that's really where your stance will be aiming, make sure you're punching towards your left leg, your lead leg, not just, not just straight forward or squared up, you know what I mean? So you should be here in your stance. That means my jacks will be really facing this way so I can punch this way. Or just step back into your stance. You don't want to be doing the one slip, slip, one, two, squared up after the jack. So keep yourself staggered. There we go. And time. Next thing we're gonna do is something I do with the kids boxing class, but I had a couple people message me and said, hey, how can we ever do that? Cause that looked like fun. So what I need you to do is come very close to the camera. Close to the camera. So I'm gonna throw a one. You're gonna slip your head out of the way that way. I'm gonna throw a two. Look at those hairy knuckles. Well, they're hairy under that glove. Right at your face, and you're gonna slip that way. So I'm gonna throw a one. Right, we're just gonna start a one. You're gonna slip out of the way. So I throw this, you're slipping that, that way. But you're waiting for it to come. Here, you should be here, light on your feet. A little bounce. And when I throw it, slip out of the way. I hope this Zoom has a time delay because I threw that, and like five seconds after, you all move. Every one of you would have had a freaking broken nose. You gotta move right when it comes. Boom. Boom. Wait for this right. This right is coming. When I throw the right, you slip that way, a little hint. Bam. Ooh, have you lead right into that one. You fell for the first track. Bam. Don't forget, when I throw the right, go that way. When I throw the left, go that way. I'm giving you the answers to the test, people. Come on. Pop. Pop. The key here is to have a little flow, look, a little rhythm, so you can bam, easily move out of the way. You should be moving with intention, with purpose, or you're gonna get punched with purpose. You're gonna have a broken nose with purpose. Pop. All right, we're going with a one, two. Boom, boom. 
We ran away at both of those. I'm telling you what it is ahead of time. Later on, I'm not going to tell you. You're going to get busted up. One, two. Wait for it to come, though. Some of you are just bullshit and just moving side to side nonstop the whole time. Come on. Wait for it to come. There we Joanna, go. Joanna, you're supposed to slip. You want to slip. <laughs> Joanna, there you go. I hope some of you have a good dental plan because you're going to be missing a whole lot of teeth after this workout. All right, we're going two ones. one. So you're going to go that side first. Ooh, look at that fish coming right at your face. Better move. All right, we're going to mix it up. You're not going to know what's coming. It's going to be one punch or two punches. That's all I'm going to tell you. Marlene is like a pro, but she keeps getting busted up. It looks good. It looks good. It just happens to be the wrong direction. There we go. Pop. Pop. Yeah, that was two. You better move. That was two. You better move. Listen, stay in between. You got to stay right here, ready. Ready to go. Squeeze up. You can get out of the way quick. Start picking up the pace. Yeah, that's a bunch of lefts in a row. If you're not keep going the same way, you're going to get popped. Yes, nice. And time. Nice work. Wipe the blood out of your nose, pick your teeth up off the floor, and let's get ready for the next round. Some of you got busted up right there. All right, so now we're going to go into our ducks. All we're going to start with is duck right, duck left, three, four. So just duck, duck, three, four. Again, move around in between, move around. Duck, duck, three, four. Let's do it. Let's see it. Begin. Don't forget, use your legs. It's like an angled squat. Keep your hands up in the guard. So duck right, your legs should be pumping. Duck left, left hook, right hook. Let's see it. You got a bag, you're back on your bag. Duck left, or sorry, duck right, duck left, left hook, right hook. So duck, duck, three, four. Duck, duck, three, four. Use those legs. You should feel those legs working. Don't forget, we still want that movement in between. You always need a rhythm going. That's going to help you. It helps you get out of the way quicker. It helps you slow into your punches. Each move has a purpose. Every bit of movement you're using, you want it to be used with intention. So you should bounce around flow so you can easily flow right into that duck. Otherwise, your legs will be too stiff and you'll never get out of the way in time. Duck, duck, three, four. Yes. Use those legs. Nice, move around, move around. I want some energy in between. You need to be flowing. Look, your feet should be around and stop, duck, duck, three, four, full speed. Move around. Like you really have an opponent. Picture an opponent in front of you. Picture my ugly face in front of you. You can start punching and whacking. Bam, bam, duck, duck, three, four. Duck to the right, duck to the left, left hook, right hook. Turn into it. You need to have flow, you need to have rhythm. If I could find some rhythm inside this pathetically genetic rhythm body, every one of you could find a little bit of rhythm. Flow, bounce, move around, duck, duck, three, four. Bounce in your step. Don't forget, whatever hand is not punching stays up in your chin. So when you're throwing the three, right hand stays up. When you go to the four, left hand stays up. Keep it moving. Pumping it, pumping it. You're just getting rolling. And time. All right, so duck, duck, three, four is the exercise. You're going to do it with a squat thrust. So you're going to squat thrust. When you come up, duck, duck, three, four. Just like we did with the jacks with the slip up one, two, last round. So squat thrust, down, jump back. If you need to modify, just step back. If you need to modify even more, find something to elevate yourself on. You can see on the edge of the camera. We don't have to go all the way down. So it's squat thrust. Let's roll, let's do it. Squat thrust, duck, duck, three, four. So every time you come up, duck right, duck left, throw left hook, throw right hook. Squat thrust, duck, duck, three, four. Boom. There it is. This one you don't need to move around on. Your movement is your squat thrust. You don't need to do that extra footwork stuff that we're talking about. So just stay in place for this one. So you can get as many as you can this time. We're going for 60 seconds. Down, out, in and up. Squat thrust. Duck, duck, three, four. Real 
real punches, strong punches on that three, four. You need to dig them in. Boom, boom. Duck, duck, three, four. Yes, make sure you're not leaning over the waist from that squat thrust. Make sure you're squatting down there. Modify it if you need to. So squat straight down with your head up, your chest out. Don't just flop over at the waist. When you're jumping your feet back on that squat thrust, make sure your core is tight. That's going to help you brace for that impact and help you bounce forward again to stand back up. And then when you're coming back up, make sure you're squatting also. Marlene, try to keep your back a little more straight when you're going up and down. Like right there, try not to lean over the waist too much. There it is. Squat thrust, duck, duck, three, four. Duck, duck, three, four. Every time you come up, let's go 15 seconds. Finish this off, 15 seconds. Down, out, in and up, duck, duck, boom, boom. Down, out, in and up, duck to the right, duck to the left, left hook, right hook. Bam, two power punches. We are moving, we are moving. Whatever hand's not punching, your three, four, your three is your left hook, your four is your right hook. And time, all right? Time to come back up, all the way up in my grill. I want to see all your faces up here. I won't get too close because then you'll see all my nose hair. So I'll stay a little bit back here. So it's going to be hooks coming up. When I throw this left hook, you're going to duck underneath it. So you'll swoop underneath it. When I throw this right hook, you're going to duck underneath it that way. Got it? Thumbs up or fists up, gloves up. You don't got thumbs, some of you, but all right, let's do it. It's going to be just left hook so you can get to the flow. Left hook, get underneath it. So you're ducking underneath it. Don't forget, that way. I feel this left hook, duck underneath. Let's do it. Duck. We're going with the right now. Underneath it the other way. Right. Throwing left. There it is. Don't stand and just wait. Remember, you need to be here so you can flow. I should see a bunch of bouncing bodies right in front of me. Boom. Boom. Pretend that fist is actually coming at you. That was another left. That was another left. React to that punch. Underneath it. Keep moving, keep moving. One of my computers froze, but the backup is still working. There we are. We're going left right here. Duck, duck. We're going left, right. Left, right. Get underneath it. Left, right. Get under. Boom. Boom. All right, we're going right, left. Right, left. I'm letting you know what we're doing. <clears throat> Get under. Use those legs. All right, we're going to mix it up. You don't know what's coming. It's going to be slow, but you're not going to know what's coming. Ooh, some of you hesitated on that second one and got cracked right in the temple. Gonna have some broken jaws, some concussions, some knockouts. Keep those hands up while you're ducking. Turn, boom, boom. I like the triple left hook. You better keep ducking. There we go. And the right. Oh, we caught you with that one. All right, time. All right, shake it out, shake it out. We're going to the next combo, which is going to be the opposite of the first combo. We did slip, slip, one, two in the beginning. All this one's going to be is similar to that, except it's going to be slip, one, slip, two. So before it was defense, defense, offense, offense. Now it's going to be defense, offense, defense, offense. Got it? So let's practice that out. Let's do it. So it's just slip, lean to the left. Throw the left, lean to the right, throw the right. Slip, one, slip, two. Lean left, throw left, lean right, throw right. And then move around. I need that footwork in between. There, Clara's got the idea. Circle around. If you, if you know the combo, you move around. Use that space. Use 360 degrees. That's fine. Move around. Circle. Use whatever space you have. However you can get your feet moving. We need some footwork. Slip, one, slip, two. So if you don't know the combo, it's lean to the left, throw the left, lean to the right, throw the right. 
and then move and bounce and flow and rhythm. Slip one, slip two. Lean left, throw left, lean right, throw right. Does Eliana know she's frozen with some weird ass face on? <laughs> I don't know. Good question. <laughs> I think once you're in there, if you start going into like email or something, it freezes on your last frame. So I guess she's just stuck on that. Or maybe she's out there practicing the moves and didn't want anyone to see. Slip one, slip two. Lean left, throw left, lean right, throw right. Hands up in between. Front to the left, throw to the left, crunch to the right. Boom! Don't waste those punches. Keep moving. We got 30 more seconds in this one. Keep moving. Do not waste the punches. I Meaning, don't focus just on the slips and then you just flick your arm out there. That punch needs to have some intention. Rebecca, keep those hands up. Hands up, hands up. E do move around in between so you're not just going non stop. Slip one, slip two, slip one, slip two. Make it a four piece combo. It's slip one, slip two, reset and move, bounce. Then slip one, slip two, reset, move and bounce. Move it around. Y'all better be moving around a little bit more. Come on, move it. Yes. Here yeah. they are. You better be moving. Move, turn, spin. Once you got the combo, you don't need to stare at the camera the whole time. If you know what it is, we got a good minute of it in there. So you should know what the combo is. You can move, you turn and look away from the camera for a second. That's fine. If you don't have much space to move left and right, at least circle. So you're facing different directions. You pivot in different directions. Just keep moving. Hands up, hands up. Slip one, slip, boom, two. Let's do it, let's do it. And time, all right? Here, all you're doing is part of the exercise set. All you're doing is crawling out, crawl back in, slip one, slip two. So the combo you just did, you're just gonna hit every time you come up your crawl. So the crawl, your feet are wide, wider than shoulder width, Squat down, all the way out into the push-up position. Crawl back in, hop to your stance. Slip, slip, one, slip, two. So the same combo you just did for that whole round. So it's crawl out, then slip, one, slip, two. Keep it moving. Keep those hands up. Yes, yes, yes. You have to modify it, modify it. You know, squat thrust. If you're doing a full crawl, your feet should stay in place and your hands walk forward. Your feet stay in place. Go all the way out, full push up position. You're feeling crazy, add in a push up if you want. Don't be afraid to add in a push up. Yes, add that push up. There you go. Because you know, if one person does it, everybody got to do it. Yes, I like it. Slip one, <laughs> slip two. Yeah, you know who you are, Diane. Oops. <laughs> on out names. There we go. Keep it moving. Strong hands, strong chest, shoulders, triceps, and core on that crawl out. Make sure your legs are squatting you down in the beginning and your legs are squatting you up to come up. Jeez, Rebecca, that kid is like a, a world class champion weightlifter. She's got like an 80 pound dumbbell in her hand, flinging around like it's nothing. What the heck? Look at that. <laughs> That weight is bigger than her. Definitely is. <laughs> Beast kids. Like it. Slip one, slip two. Hands up. Crawl out, slip one, slip two. Nice, nice, nice. And time. All right, you're going to come up to the camera. Pay attention. You're going to, I'm going to put this hand out. You're going to throw a straight left. Throw a straight left. A one. If I put this hand out, you're gonna throw a two. If I put them both up, you're gonna throw a one, two. Let's stay with one for now, just one punch for now. Let's go, one. Don't forget, you're hitting that opposite side, two. One. What we're gonna mix in there is when I throw this, you need to slip that way. When I throw this, you need to slip that way. So we're gonna start. Let's go, one. Need to react better. Boom. Mixing it up. 
Remember, don't just stand here flat foot like this. You should be here, here. So you're ready to either slip or you're ready to punch, whatever comes in. I want to see reactions. There we go. Ooh, some of us got caught. Oh, we got caught with that one. A lot of you got freaking plastered with that. Get out of the way. But then be ready to punch. Always be ready to punch. Make them miss. Make them pay. But then be ready to move. Oh, we got caught again. Come on. Be ready to transition. I tricked you on that one. I, I held my hand open and threw a punch. Poked you in the eye. Did a, a, a Three Stooges eye poke. Damn, Marlene hit me like four times. I only wanted one. She freaking sucker punched me. And nice. On. All right, we're going to our ducks and our hooks. So you're going to go duck. Three, duck, four. See how it's the same pattern we just did. So just like we did slip, slip, one, two, we did duck, duck, three, four. Then we did slip, one, slip, two. And now it's just duck, three, duck, four. Let's do it. Three, two, one, begin. So you're ducking to the left, left hook, ducking to the right, right hook. Slip three, or sorry, duck, three, duck, four. You got a bag, start bagging it. So duck to the left. Left hook, duck to the right, boom, right hook. Hands up, remember hands not punching, it's up at your chin. Keep it up. Bam, bam. Moving, we're moving, pivot those feet. Whatever side's throwing the hooks, if you pivot, it should be turning your hips, turning your feet. Keep it rolling, yes. Remember, move around in between. Duck low, duck free, duck four, and then move around. Move around and bring the flow and turn, pivot, move forward, move back, move left, move right, spin around. Do what you gotta do. Keep it moving with whatever space you have. Keep the energy flowing. Yes, yes, yes. Banging, banging. Duck to the left, left hook. Duck to the right, right hook, and move around, bounce around, so non-stop. Don't just go through the motions on these punches, not just putting your hand there. They should be boom, boom, hard. Full punch exploding from your legs. Power comes from the ground up. Big, strong punches. Duck, three, duck, four. Big bombs, elbows up and out, strong hooks. Keep it moving. Hands are up when you're throwing a three, the right hand stays up. You're throwing a four, left hand stays up on the duck. Use your legs, you're coming up on an angle. Yes, yes, yes. 15 seconds, keeping it moving. Cruising, cruising, cruising. Use those legs, those legs should be pumping up. Those legs should be working. Quad should be on fire, keeping it moving. Duck three, duck four. There three. you go, Joe. Keep ducking, Joe. And time. All right, so what you're gonna do here is high knees for four, and then your duck three, duck four. So same way you do each round. You're just gonna hit a cardio set, high knees, duck three, duck four. Four high knees, right into your stance. So right after that last high knee, transition to your stance, smooth, right in flow, right in rhythm. Three, two, one, boom, let's do it. So four high knees, same column we just did. So you should know it, duck three, duck four. Duck to the left, left hook, duck to the right, right hook. After those four high knees. You can't do the high knees, just do speed marching with those knees way up there. Still get them high. We're gonna do marching. Make sure you're still getting that thigh parallel to the floor. So it should be pop, 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 duck, boom, duck, boom. Pop, 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 duck to the left, left hook, duck to the right, right hook. Make it count. Bam, bam, bam. Moving, moving, moving. Fast speed on those high knees. 
Drive those knees straight up there, way up. Keeping it rolling. Remember to duck at an angle, like a V shape while your hands are still up in the guard. You come up on that left side, left hook. You come up on the right side, right hook. Bam. Keeping it moving. You're in place on this one, so you don't have to worry about moving around the floor. He's got those four high knees. One, two, three, four. Duck left, left hook, duck right, right hook. We're banging, we're banging. Breathe out for each shot. And you duck. Breathe out those high knees if you have to. Just keep it rolling, keep your rhythm, keep the flow. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, Edu, and keep it up. Get those knees up. Get them up, get them up, get them up. Higher. 10 seconds, finish it. And time. Come up on the screen. Come up on the screen. Pay attention. I put this hand here. You're going to hit me with a left hook. I put this hand here, right hook. I throw here, you duck underneath. I throw here, you duck underneath there. We got it? I'm not too, I don't know how confident I'm in this one. We'll see. That's a left hook. That's a right hook. That's a duck to your right. Duck to your left. Left hook. Ooh. Ooh. Someone punched my arm while I punched them. What's up with that? That's a new technique. Someone throws a punch to you, you punch their arm. I like it. That's aggressiveness. Like, yeah, you're going to punch me, motherfucker. Here you go. Bam. Punch the arm. Right hook. Left hook. You got to react. That's why you got to have that bounce in your step. Otherwise, you'll never be able to transition. Those of you that are flat and I see you get caught every time, and then you're trying to react. You need to already have that flow so you can quickly get out of the way and then punch when needed. You should be bounced, rhythm, full of energy. This is why we stay conditioned. You can move. You can move nonstop. Move faster than anyone else. These hooks are coming. These hooks are coming. Marlene is going nuts. Marlene is headbutting me. Yes. Peggy, there you go. Keep it moving. Use the legs a little more, Peggy, on those squats, on those ducks. Left hook. Right hook. Left. Christina, I can't see you, but I hope you are using those legs for those squats, for those ducks. Underneath. Underneath. There you go, Syria. Nice squats. Boom. Boom. Duck. Hook. Yes. Duck. Hook. Right what we were doing, right? Duck. And left hook. Duck right. Right hook. Duck left. Left hook. Boom. And time. Yes. All right. We're going to go back to that first group. We're going to combine them all together. We're going slip, slip, one, two, duck, duck, three, four. Just putting all those together. So you're going to go slip, slip, one, two, duck, duck, three, four. I'll walk you through it again. So slip to the right, slip to the left, throw the one, throw the two. Duck to the right, duck to the left, throw the three, four. Just mix it. It's what we've already done. You've already done slip, slip, one, two. You've done duck, duck, three, four. Those are the first two combos we did. All you're doing is doing them back to back. So you really know this. It sounds like a lot, but you know this. It's a slip, slip, let's go, we started, you know it, go, slip, slip, one, two, duck, duck, three, four. It's just all about making sure you slip to the right side first so that you end up on your left side. Slip, slip, one, two, duck right, duck left, throw left, throw right. So I'll call it out, if you don't have it yet, I'll call it out slow. If you have it, just go at your own pace and kick ass. So we're gonna go slow here if you don't have it. Lean to the right, lean to the left. Throw straight left, throw straight right, duck right, duck left, throw left hook, throw right hook. So it's slip, slip, one, two, duck, duck, three, four, boom. Let's see it, let's see it. So it's two slips, two straights, two ducks, two hooks. Let me see it, see what you got. You got the bag, you're banging on the bag now. Keep moving. Yes, yes, yes. Keep moving, keep bouncing, keep flowing. 
Slip, slip. One, two, duck, duck. Three, four. Going for another minute here on this. It's a long combo, so we need a lot of time to get in. This is the one where you see moving around in between, then stop for the whole thing. Slip, slip. One, two, duck, duck. Three, four. Move, bounce, flow, rhythm. All over the place. Slip, slip. One, two, duck, duck. Three, four. Bam, bam. Keep those hands up. Hands up. Let's move, let's move, let's keep it rolling. That kid is a workout freak. She's doing more than all of us combined. She doesn't stop. She doesn't take it. I was about to I was about to say the same thing. She's working those bands. <laughs> and that's like the thick, like heavy band you probably. With a smile. Let's go. Move around. Slip, slip. One, two, duck, duck, three. Four, let's go 15 seconds. Finish strong. Move around a lot in between. You have to have that movement in between. Keep those hands up. Don't forget the slips are bending your waist side to side. Those ducks are using your legs for a squat. And those punches need to be vicious. Full speed. Just because you're punching the air doesn't mean you're not punching hard. Banging it. And time. All right, what you're going to do is four mountain climbers and come up and hit that entire combo. So you're hitting the floor for one, two, three, four. Come up, slip, slip, one, two, duck, duck, three, four. Right back down for four mountain climbers. Just the way we've been doing every round. So four mountain climbers and the same combo we just did. You know what the combo is. I'll slowly walk you through it in case you don't. Joseph and Christina, I can't see you. I hope you're following along with us and keeping up with the technique. It's always better if we can see you. Just so we can help you out. Bounce around on those mount climbers real quick. Pop, 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 pop. Come up. Clara, Wait. where'd you go? <laughs> oh, it's on the phone. <laughs> there we go. Three. Come on, keep it going. Four climbers. Slip, slip. One, two. Duck, duck. Three, four. Fast up and down. Focus on it up and down being fast. Those mount climbers are just pop, 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 pop. Jump and switch on those mount climbers. Your weight should be evenly distributed on both feet. And you jump and switch. Don't just grab your, drag your toes back behind you. Keep it moving. Yes, yes, yes. Couple more. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Keeping it rolling. Four climbers on the floor. Come up. Slip. Slip. One, two. Duck. Duck. Boom. Boom. Keep it rolling, keeping it moving. We are cruising. Nice, nice, nice. Hands up, hands up. Whatever hand's not punching is up at your chin. Keep it rolling. And time. All right, we're gonna go right into the next combo, which now is the reverse of that. Or not the reverse, the second variation, the, two, uh, the, the third and fourth combos we did but combine them together. So you're on slip one, slip two, duck three, duck four. See how we're just combining? Those are the third and fourth combos you've already done entire rounds on today. We're just putting them together. Now walk and do it again. Lean to the left, throw the left. Lean to the right, throw the right. Duck to the left, throw the left. Duck to the right, throw the right, the hook. So it's slip one, slip two, duck three, duck four. This one's actually a little easier to get than the one we just did. Because you're always punching on the side you just lean to. That's all you got to think about. Lean left, throw left. Lean right, throw right. Duck left, throw left. Duck right, throw right. So it's slip one, slip two, duck three, duck four. All you got to think about, just remember that this is your slips and ducks that look different. Your slips are little twists side to side. Your ducks are up and down. Using your legs in a V shape. So you're going underneath those punches. But now this is where we're back to moving around between. I need to see rhythm and flow. Your legs should be working. Your legs should be tired. You've got the balls of your feet. Your calves should be on fire. Move around in between. You have a bag, you should be circling around your bag or moving away from your bag, back into your bag. You should be flowing all the time, full speed, then get into your combo and put them all together. So slip one, 
Slip one, slip two, duck three, duck four. Put it all together. Chain, chain it together. Bounce in your step, light on your feet. Move around. It's a long combo, so you're making a long round. After the full combo, then move around. Then move around the floor. But we need these punches. Boom. So when you come up to that duck, your legs should be boom, powering up. Duck to the right, boom, full speed. Control it. Real power, real punches. Just because you're punching the air doesn't mean you should be going full speed and controlling it without overthrowing it and losing your balance. Keeping a core tight, strong foundation in your legs. That's where the punch is coming from. Your waist, your obliques, your lats, your legs. Let's roll, keep it moving. Slip one, slip two, duck three, duck four. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Lean left, throw left, lean right, throw right. Duck left, throw left, duck right, throw right. Finish it off strong. And time. So this one, you remember, we're sticking with that same combo. We're going with that cardio set. The same one we're doing every round. So you're just going to have your hand in guard for two squat jumps. When you land, you're hitting your whole combo. Squat, hook, squat, hook. Two squat jumps and doing the combo you just did each time. So two squat jumps, then slip one, slip two, duck three, duck four. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Let's roll. Two squat jumps, slip one, slip two, duck three, duck four. In between those two squat jumps, make sure your head is up, your chest is out on those squat jumps, not leaning over the waist. Sit back on your hips and heels. You need to modify it, just do regular squats. You wanna to add to the regular squat, do squat, knee raise, squat, knee raise. You wanna add a little upward motion to it. If you can't do the jump, if you can't do a squat, just do march in place for four. Do what you gotta do. Modify before you sit, before you stop. It's always a way to keep moving. Keep it rolling, keep it pumping, keep it going. Yes, yes, yes. Turn that body. Make sure you're pivoting on those hooks. Turn your body, hands up. Two squat jumps, slip one, slip two, duck three, Duck four. Banging, banging. Yes, yes, yes. Keep it rolling. I like it, I like it. Keep going. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Just make sure you're not leaning over on those squat jumps or squats. Your torso will be leaning forward. Sit back on your hips and heels. Your upper body is straight up. Your chest is lifted. Shoulders are back and down the entire time with those squats and squat jumps. We're rolling. And time. All right, you're coming back up onto the camera. We still have some other rounds to get to, but this is gonna be your final test. Right here, straight left. Throw straight left. Right here, throw straight right. Right here, slip. That way. Here, slip. That way. Right here, left hook. Right hook, duck underneath, and duck underneath to your left. So you don't, we're gonna keep it in order for a few rounds, just like that, but then we're gonna start getting crazy and you're gonna have to react. So stay focused, laser beam focused on the target, on what's coming at you, have a balance, a flow, so look, you can move, you're flat, you're never gonna get out of the way of anything. Let's do it, we're gonna go right in order. One, two, Slip, slip, three, four, duck, duck. Let's go in order again. One, two, slip, slip, three, four, duck, duck. All right, let's see what you got. That should be a two. You gotta react. Oh, we got caught.
Slip, 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 slip. They're coming. I was nice enough being solid there because I saw that you needed some laser beam focus. So I kept it nice and quiet so you could focus. But now the flurry's coming out. You need to keep slipping, slipping, slipping. Get out of the way. They're coming faster. Keep slipping. Ducking. We're ducking. We're ducking these haymaker hooks. Get underneath. Use your legs. Don't lean over the waist. You're going to hurt your back. Make sure you're using your legs. Get underneath them. Boom. Boom. You better duck. You better duck. This is going to leave a mark. You don't duck. Boom. 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 Get under. And time. Nice. Nice work. All right. We are going to go to a squat thrust to plank and punt. It's going to hit a few rounds. Finishing off a few combos still to get to. So you can hit a squat thrust. When you're down here, punch left, punch right, come back up. Two punches every time. Try to alternate a different two punches. So one time that you go down there, do left, right. The next time, do right, left. The next time, do left, left. The next time, do right, right. So try to mix up between those four different combos. But whatever, as long as you're throwing two punches. Let's do it. We're going for a minute. In three, two, one, boom. Squat thrust to plank and punch. So when you're down there, punch left, punch right. Then squat thrust up. Right back down. Right back down. Now punch right, left. And come back up. So you're punching in the push-up position. So you're punching when you're down there. And then go two lefts. Come up. Next time, go two rights and come up. If you can't do the squat thrust, just do two, just do two squats, two punches. Two squats, two punches. If you can't do the squat thrust. Or if you have something elevated, I have a, a chair, a, a step here, you can do it elevated if you need a modified squat thrust. If you can't do the squat thrust, or you can walk out the squat thrust when you're just stepping one leg back at a time. You can modify the squat thrust. Just squat down, step, step while you're down there, punch, punch, and step back in and stand up. So it's two punches every time down. The squat thrust, the plank, and punch. We are rolling. Yes, 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 keeping it moving. Nice. Fully extend that arm when you're down there. Two punches. Make it a different variation of those two punches every time. Don't just keep doing left, right. We want a different shift, a different feel every time you're down there. Keep it rolling. We are cruising. Yes, yes. Nice. Finish off 15 seconds, 15 seconds. You're there. Squat down, jump back, punch, punch, jump in, squat up. Make sure you're squatting. It's a squat thrust. Don't just flop over the waist. You're going to hurt your back. Make sure you're squatting down to get down there and then squatting to come back up at the top. Keeping it moving. And time. All right, we're going to try this one out. We'll see. You've got to show up your break dancing moves. What you're going to do is hit two sit outs and then two crunch and punch. So you're going to be down here for sit out, skip across sit out, and then right into crunch and punch for two. Boom, boom. Spin right back over, sit out, sit out, crunch and punch for two. So if you don't know the sit out, you're just hands and feet. Just kicking one leg through and literally sit on the floor if you have to. Come back to the middle, kick the other leg through, sit on the floor, and transition to your crunch and punch. So you're doing two sit outs, two crunch and punch. Each crunch, each sit up is two punches. Let's see it. Show up them break dancing moves. So tap your butt to the floor on those sit outs. You can tap your butt to the floor. They don't have to be so highly elevated all the time. You can just tap it. And then after the second one, a smooth transition into crunch and punch. Every time you come up on that crunch, throw two punches. Just like we did on the plank and punch, mix up with the two punch star. Sometimes left, right. Sometimes right, left. Sometimes left, left. Sometimes right, right. So sit out, sit out, crunch, two punches, crunch, two punches, roll back to the sit out. Keep it moving, keep spinning. Keep it afloat, try to make it a smooth transition from the sit out to the crunch and punch, back to the sit out. Just keep rolling. Those break dancing moves. 
Come on, keep it up. Get that leg up a little higher. There you go. Don't forget the two punches on sit up. Every time. It's two times. Sit up, two punches. Wanna, don't forget the crunch and punch. So it's yeah, two punches. Yeah, I know you forgot. <laughs> two crunches, two punches each crunch. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Keep it moving. Spin under, spin under, transition, crunch, two punches, a second crunch, two more punches, transition right back over. As you're transitioning, try not to always transition to the left or the right. Try to hold it which side you're twisting to after your crunches. So don't always lean to the left. Sometimes you have to twist the right just to keep things balanced, keep things even out. Yes, and time. All right, so we're going here. Four mountain climbers. Four one punch. We're gonna burn this out. This is the last set of the day. So all you're doing on the floor, one, two, three, four. Right up, one, two, three, four. Right back down, one, two, three, four. Up, one, two, three, four. Faster you do this, the quicker we'll be done with it. I can see you attack this shit. Four climbers, four run punch. In three, two, one, boom, attack it, attack it. Speed, quick transitions. Hop up your feet quick. Fast speed on those mountain climbers. High knees on the run punch. Fully extend those arms on the run punch. Four climbers, four run punch. Non stop. 60 seconds. If it's all out, then we'll be done. Four yeah, climbers. Another city adds run and punch. Goes back straight when you're going up and down. Don't fall over. Get as smooth a transition as you can. Hop up to your feet if you can. Hop down to if you can. We want this fast pace, fast pace, attack this, attack this. Get those knees up on the run punch and extend your arms. Thighs should end up being parallel to the floor, arms fully extended, full punches on that run punch. Burn this out. We've got 30 seconds and we're done for the day. Get those knees up there, get those knees up there. Push through this 30 freaking seconds. You do this in your swing. Four climbers, four run punch. Pop, 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 hit the floor. All the way down, one, two, three, four, come up, pop, 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 pop. You got this. Finish strong, 20 seconds. We are there, we are there, the game is here. You can roll it. Boom, 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 boom. Fast, fast hands, fast feet. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. So what, I don't know how to count time. Keep rolling, keep pumping, keep burning. Yes, looking good, looking good. Don't stop, don't fade now. Finish strong and sit. One or two more times down, and you are good. And time. And we are done. Let's come up to the camera. That's really quick. Just get those shoulders stretched. Pull it across. We're going to hold that for about 30 seconds. During this time, this post workout, stretching, Cool down. If you have any questions, comments, need help with anything with your, your training, your nutrition, with anything, this is the time to get the help live. Or if you have any just need, need help with anything, this is the time. Fling it open. Let's stretch the other side. If you haven't seen, there's going to be a nutrition, weight loss, Herbalife seminar, live seminar on Zoom coming up this Saturday. So check our post for that. And then also, if you haven't seen the video I did last night, in the VIP, go and check that. That's about the upcoming six-week transformation challenge. It's going to be totally different than any ones we've ever done before because obviously it's virtual. All full peak members are entered in for free. You're just going to need to confirm that you're in with us and we'll add you on to the list. All the information, the links and dates and all the additional information will be released later today. But the basic information is in that video. Let's get big forward solar circles. Keep those solar loose. They'll stiffen up on you. So if you're a full peak member, you will be entered in for free. If you have friends, family members, co-workers, they can also enter in. They're not, it's not going to be free, but there'll be a link that you have to say. You can send to them. They can jump in and be on board fully for six weeks. And there's lots of habits. There's a lot of daily habits you have to do in this challenge. It's all about accountability because this is the time we need to be thinking about accountability more than ever. You need to be having someone hold you accountable. You need to hold other people accountable. And most importantly, you need to hold yourself accountable. So that's what this challenge is all about. Accountability is the key at points like right now. It's about being accountable 
to, to your habits, your small daily habits, so you can build up those tiny little wings every day that stretch those quads. So when you're sitting at home and you think things are so bad or whatever else, start thinking about what every morning, one of the first things I'll do is and switch sides whenever you need to. I'll write down a list of all my wins from the day before. So I can look back and be like, holy shit, I did a lot yesterday. I freaking had a ton of victories yesterday, as, as crazy as things are. And it gives you a positive mindset for that day coming up. And I'll do that every single morning. Let's stretch your, your glutes. If you want to do it on your back or you can do it standing. I like it standing so I can get good pressure on it when you cross this and push down on this leg. You can do it laying flat on your back also if you want to hold on to something. Just to stretch that hip and that glute. Make sure you're not putting any pressure on the knee that you're standing on. So the nutrition, Herbalife Weight Loss Seminar is this Saturday, live on Zoom. There's a link to register for that. And then the upcoming Transformation Challenge is coming up. The, the links will be released for that today. You can please share with your friends, your family members, your coworkers. We have a lot of new things coming up. There's gonna be some different additions and changes to the schedule coming up here. So stay tuned for all that. A lot of big things going on. We are not gonna be slowing down just because of this stuff. If anything else, we'll let the rest of the world slow down. We'll let the rest of the world stop doing what they're doing. We are gonna keep driving freaking forward, nonstop, no matter what, whatever it takes. So if you have any questions, let me know right now. You can put them in the comments later. Or if not, let's get a picture. Actually, first, let's get a, a hairy knuckle fist bump. Here we go. Let's get a fist bump to finish off. Hey, look, it's non-contact. We're social spacing or whatever the hell it's called. All right, let's get a picture. Let's, if you have your gloves on, let's see your boxing stances. Your mean face. Face. I don't think you can make a mean face if you try. All right, we are all done. If you need anything, let me know. You can send a message anytime. Personal message on Facebook, text, email, whatever. If you're not receiving our emails, please send us a message that you're not receiving them because we're sending them out every day with links to all the workouts. You should be getting all the workouts from the previous day. You should have all the links I've been sending out every single morning. You should be getting it into your email. So if you miss a workout and you want to catch up, you want to get an additional workout, maybe there's a work, maybe today you don't want to unbox in the morning so you can do a workout you did yesterday because realize that there's three separate workouts each day. They're not the same workout. So even if you did a workout yesterday, you can go back to one of yesterday's workouts and do it today because it's not the same workout you did yesterday. If that makes sense. There's three different workouts on yesterday. So always keep that in mind. Make sure you get those emails and send them out every day. Anything else, let me know. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. See you later. Thanks, Thank Steve. you. Thank you. Hey, take care, guys. Thanks. Make sure you check in. Check in on Facebook. Get vitamins. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Coach. See you later. Nice work.